Good evening. Welcome to ITV News Anglia. Coming up on tonight's programme. A new agricultural revolution. We find out how technology is helping farmers to help the planet. When it comes to saving the planet, our farmers sometimes get criticised for not doing enough. But many are now determined to change this by using technology to make their industry as green as possible. Matthew Hudson's been finding out how farming could look in the future. A tiny drone mapping the ground, a crop spraying robot tractor, high-tech soil sampling. Putting them together will help farming to help save the planet. We've come to this farm in Cambridgeshire to see how new technologies are coming together, all of them using specific data to create new ways of farming that are sustainable and environmentally friendly, but still profitable. It's something that could put us on the cusp of a new agricultural revolution. The drones mapping can cheaply and accurately establish the soil's nitrogen levels, which helps plants grow. Farmers then know exactly how much extra nitrogen they want to add. Industrial fertilizers which add nitrogen cost money and their production is not environmentally friendly, so the less used the better. If they use too little fertilizer, then they don't get enough yield. Um, so rather than risking that, uh, they often put in more to ensure that the yield is there. But the excess uh, nitrogen can uh, run into the water table. This electric robot tractor can add more details to nitrogen mapping, as well as performing many farm jobs that fewer people now want to do, including precision spraying. Water was used for this demonstration. First of all, it's all electric, so it helps reduce carbon. The second point is, it helps you to reduce your chemical usage, because if you are smart about where you put your chemicals, you need to use less. You save money, you save the environment. But data-dependent technologies like these need connectivity. 85% of the world's surface currently doesn't have that, including a lot of farmland. Satellite experts Wild Network believe they can provide a solution. We've developed a technology that connects sensors, all of this technology, directly to low-Earth orbiting satellites. Now, low-Earth orbiting satellites create 100% global connectivity. So what we're doing is allowing this technology to collect data and deliver that data to the farmers and the growers so they can take action on that data. Farmer Tom Pearson, whose land we filmed on, has been increasingly using sustainable methods for many years. He wants others to embrace them. Farmers will always be wary of change, okay? And I think it's important for uh, some farmers in every region of the UK and the world for that matter to embrace ag tech, to, um, to make those ch changes. Agricultural technology will be one of the main focuses at a major national farming conference next week. We're going to be hearing from some of those companies that are really developing technologies that are either helping to increase uh, biodiversity, welcome pollinators uh, into field margins, and also robots that are nice and light so they're not contributing to soil compaction. So lots to go on there about the low carbon agenda. This week we've heard much about the challenges we face. Sometimes it's good to hear that some very clever people are doing very clever things to try to save the world.